the recommended strategy that we have this time is to halve a number and halve it again. This is the reverse of doubling and then doubling again for four times. So here's an example if we have 12 and we say what's half of 12? Students should be able to do that. Half of 12 is 6. And what's half of 6? That's 3. Now you could quickly do questions like this with students by simply writing down here's 12. What's half of 12 everyone? 6. What's half of 6? That's 3. Here's a number, 28. What's half of 28? 14. What's half of 14? 7. So we can quickly give the students practice in doing that. Some of them are a bit more difficult. 32, 36 are fairly hard to halve, but of course the students will get used to it um, over a short period of time. An alternative strategy which works well is to say 4 times what equals the number we're dividing. So we might say 4 times what equals 20. Think of your 4 times number facts. What's the number that belongs in there? Of course it's 5. So those are two straightforward strategies. Halve a number twice or think of the multiplication number fact. I just want to make a quick comment here about the strategies. The way I see strategies, they're a bit like crutches. So if you fell and broke your leg, you'd wear crutches. You're sorry, you'd use crutches um, until your leg was strong again. And you'd be silly not to use the crutches while you needed them, while your leg was broken and you know not in one piece. But once your leg is fixed, you don't need the crutches anymore. So you, you know, give them back to the hospital and away you go. To me, the number fact strategies are like that. If you don't know the number facts, you need a strategy and not counting on your fingers. That's never going to be a good idea. Once you are familiar with the number facts, so you know four divided by uh, sorry, 20 divided by 4 is 5, you no longer need the strategy. So I don't think 28 divided by 4, I don't think, oh, I've got to take half of that and then half again, because I just know the answer is 7. So you should encourage your students to do the same. Once they know them, they no longer need the strategy, and of course, that's what we're aiming for.